Gaffer, how did you view the game tonight? We are uh, disappointed, of course. We, we don't like losing games. Um, we didn't start that well, 20 minutes. Then we got ourselves, they had a couple of chances early on. We then got a couple of chances in the second 20. I thought we started playing the best football we played so far in that uh, second part of the first half. Um, of course, the sending off has killed us, so that's very unprofessional, um, and we'll deal with that. Um, and in the end, uh, Obviously, they, they got the goal when we were down at 10 men. I mean, they had some chances, but I think we had some chances as well. And, you know, when people see the highlights, they probably won't realise how many chances we had without actually hitting the back, the back of the net. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Um, you know, we, we've had a chat with a few of them. Some of them didn't do as well as we would have liked. And they got to step up to the plate a little bit. Do you feel that the red card tonight came at a point where Torquay were growing into the game in the second half? Yeah, I think that was that was true. Our supporters were getting, uh, you know, getting behind the boys at that point because we, you know, we'd had a couple of opportunities, and um, you know, we had. I've just asked them who had a chance there that where they might have scored. Six people put their hands up, or five did, and one person had two chances. So it was just, you know, getting a good contact. I mean, to be fair, we should have been one 0 up when uh, Ross had the header from the set play, and the keeper made a really good save. So, but um, yeah, you know, it's one of those. Dips. So, in answer to your question, obviously we're disappointed to lose. Some of them have, have still got to prove themselves to me and to our supporters, and uh, you know, we've got to have a very close look at that, um, give them an opportunity until we uh, see that that opportunity for them has gone. How do you, uh, you gave Tom Hughes his full debut tonight, how do you think he went with no, he was, up play with Will Goodwin? Yeah, uh, on a couple of occasions, but no, we, you know, we, you know, we brought, we brought, brought Tommy in for some uh, experience, we thought, you know, he'd be a good number and let him see it for a little while, he, he wouldn't know nothing about the conference, same as Dylan, uh, same as Will, you know, they don't know much about this, this league really, not enough. Um, so uh, we, we looked a bit naive, let's say, out there, a little bit. And uh, they have to grow up quickly in this league, do you know what I mean? And, uh, and that's what we just told them. Now after two very tough and tight away games, it's back to play more on Saturday for Boreham Wood. Are you looking forward to getting back home again? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we've had two, two long away trips against two tough tough teams, you know, they're going to be there or thereabouts maybe, we'll have to wait and see, um, uh, but we've, we've got to be better anyway, you know, whether we won the last game at Halifax, we wasn't necessarily the better team, we wasn't against Oldham necessarily, so you know, we've got a little bit of hard thinking to do, unless the boys can actually turn our thoughts around a little bit, we'll give them the opportunity. Um, but they need to prove that they're going to be first-team players when all our injured lads get back. I mean, we've got three or four, four or five at the moment that would normally be in the starting lineup. These lads had the chance to, you know, for when the other lads that are injured do come back, uh, they've had the chance to put their name down first for the shirt. But uh, some are not quite doing that, so we need... We need, we need our injuries back pretty quick and uh, you know, they have a long-term injury so when we get them back we'll, we'll have a stronger squad.